Welcome to Think Woodworks. I'm Izzy Swan. You want to ride my dinosaur? Hey everyone, this is actually part two of this build. If you'd like to see how I made the legs and the base, I'll put a link at the end of this video to that video. Today we're just going to talk about building the actual body and tail. To make the body, I drew a simple sketch out on a piece of graph paper, and then I laid a graph out on a big piece of plywood, drew it out, and then cut it out with my jigsaw. Once I had that top template done, I glued it together with 2P10CA gel and hardener. It makes it go really fast and I don't have to sit around and wait for the glue to dry. And then I screw them together so every little cutout that I make will be cut on both pieces and it will save me a lot of work. Next, I drew out some shapes on the inside of my pattern to cut out to lighten this up and make it kind of look like a mechanical skeleton sort of thing. And I cut everything out with the jigsaw. And I used a large drill bit on all the corners or sharp turns. That way when I cut it out, I would have nice smooth corners and there wouldn't be anything jagged. Looking good, Bob. Looking good. After I'd gotten Bob all cut out, I took a chip knife, carved a little bit of edge off the teeth, and then using my folding pocket chisel, I just shaved off the first layer of plywood to add a little bit of depth to its teeth. I really like the safety feature of these folding chisels because when I'm done with them, I can fold it up and put it away, and I keep my chisels really sharp, so that's a very nice feature. With that finished, I used a Dremel to kind of round over the teeth a little bit, give it a little bit more realistic look, and then add a little bit of texture to the teeth like they were worn. Now because I had cut both sides at one time, one of the letters, the think, was backwards. So I created a template uh, that was symmetrical, laid it out, cut it out with the jigsaw, so I was just able to flip it over, and then I went back and filled all the areas that were gaping with uh, 2P10CA gel and hardener. And here I use this because I was in a hurry. It dries super fast and I can sand it out and keep moving on. And just like I did with the base and the legs, I screwed this whole thing together with power head screws. Just cut some spacers out of some two inch dowel and then put the two pieces together and then screw the whole thing together. Using the power head screws with all the torquing and pulling really kind of helps keep this together without having to worry about the screw heads pulling through. With the body done, I started working on the tail. I used some double-sided tape, fast edge speed tape, which is a really high quality tape that really held everything together well. And when you're cutting on a pattern, you need those pieces to stay together. So after drawing out a tail, I drew out a pattern on the inside, drilled some holes through, and then cut it out again with my jigsaw. I also laid out a grid for the arms to kind of keep everything symmetrical. And then the rest is pretty much boring, but a lot of painting and put it together and Bob surely looks good. So I put Bob on the base, kind of positioned him, posed for a selfie. 
Thank you so much for watching today's video. I had a lot of fun with this build. If you'd like to see what's going on in my shop and the projects I'm building as I'm building them, hit me up on my social media. I'll put links in the description box below. Or you can subscribe by hitting the YouTube icon. Also, if you'd like to see how the bottom of this machine was made, hit the video in the upper right hand corner. Or if you want to see a crazy clothes folding machine, hit the video in the bottom left corner. Special thank you to FastCap for sponsoring today's video. As always, links will be in the description box below for the products I use. And a special thanks to Bosch for making one heck of a drill.